welcome back you might remember I mentioned last time we had an oil leak with the turbo so this hole here um, was no longer used because we tapped the side of this bracket to get the oil to uh, the new turbo so what I did was I threaded that hole and put a, a little screw bolt in there and Loctited it in and uh, put it all back together with the new gasket so hopefully that'll fix that problem and here's Zach's working on the um, uh, plug for the seat mounts the new seat mounts that we're going to get done and uh, so it's coming along nicely and hopefully we'll have those seat mounts done before the open house. To do some and Jeff and Devin are working on uh, setting up here for doing an infusion uh, layup just to create a flat piece of carbon fibre for a first piece that's going to be for the instrument panel. So you'll see more of that shortly. And I needed to cut some uh, slots in these tubes for the side stick so I quickly tacked on um, some little bits of steel on the side there to act as a, um, a brace there in order to keep the tube oriented in the vise and then be able to you know, mill one side and then flip it over to the other side. So here's one of the ones underway now. So I'm using a 3 16 inch uh, end mill there and uh, just keeping it lubricated with WD-40. So I milled one side there and then uh, flipped it over and um, milled the other side and the little brackets there made sure that, that both slots were completely opposite each other in the tube. And uh, Jeff and Devin were doing this layup. So this is uh, using infusion. So they're basically putting a vacuum on there and then they allow resin uh, to run in from the one side and it sort of feeds out uh, through um, through the layup. And that way you get sort of a nice um, even feed there. Anyway, this is an ex a test to, to uh, do it using the resin that we have, which isn't really designed for doing um, infusion. But anyway, um, we didn't have any other resin just available yet. And you'll see more of that in a minute. And uh, you see Jeff's got this bracket put in there. He's also drilled the holes in there for the hinges for the nose hatch. So things are still coming along on the nose there. And here's the uh, infusion process moving along here. You can see it's the resin is sort of slowly um, filtering all the way across the uh, layup there uh, to the side that where the vacuum is, where it's drawing from. And uh, this one got its uh, first coat of primer on there. So, um, it's moving along fairly quickly because we only started that one on Monday. So this was, uh, I believe, Thursday. And here we are back on the layup. So it's pretty much infused all the way across now. So it's just time to um, let that cure and see how it uh, pops out. And a bit further along now, I'm on the other side. And of course I had two of these to do. So it took quite a while actually to run that because it was cutting through quite a thick uh, wall of the tube, I believe it was 8 inch thick, um, so you know quite a lot of passes back and forth and stepping down as it went. And from the other angle you'll be able to see here in a second that it's uh, all the way through and it's sort of just cutting down the last little bit there to sort of smooth out the, the wall on the one side. And these uh, slots are you know, pretty important that they're uh, accurate um, because that, if there's um, any sort of extra movement in there, you're going to feel it in the stick in terms of a looseness or a sloppiness in the stick. So there's the finish there, as you can see. And ultimately, those little um, metal tabs that I tacked on there, they'll just be ground off um, when we're done with it. And um, Jeff released this mold here. This is the one for the bracket um, that supports the firewall and, and goes around the parachute. So that one just needs to be trimmed up and will be ready to lay up that part. And uh, here's the seat mount again, so further along now, it's all been had it sanding and uh, got the second coat of primer on there now, I believe. And here you can see Jeff's got the A-frames there in the back baggage compartment. Those are bonded into place. And then the firewall has just been sort of sat there right now, just um, test fit. So that's not bonded in just yet, but you can kind of see in here, this is going to be your baggage compartment in there, looking in there. And the next thing I had to do was um, mill some little uh, round flat plates for this other part of the aileron control, which I'll show you here shortly. And uh, so that's just basically some circular bits there with some um, bolt holes in there. And they actually that bolts up to the uh, uh, aluminum ones that I did uh, last week. And along with the larger circular plate, there was a smaller one as well that actually didn't have any bolt holes in it. It was basically just a hole in the middle and and uh, just ring around the outside. So it's kind of just like a big washer really, but you'll see in a minute um, how this all comes together, these different pieces and uh, what it's for. So anyway, getting good at uh, milling the 4130 on there. And so here's that uh, seat mount again. So i uh, got the um, guide coat on there. So this is going for the last finish uh, sanding there before it, uh, it's ready to get 
waxed up so next week we'll probably be uh, guys will be laying up the mold for that it won't be long and we'll be able to get those seat mounts out before the open house and here you can see Jeff's cut this opening that's going to allow things like the um, battery cables and some of the other cables and also the fuel lines and stuff to come through from the uh, area there behind the pressure bulkhead so that was something that I did in the CAD a while back that you might have remember and here's all these different pieces now so on um, um, Friday afternoon I was off to Brits to go and get all this stuff welded up and got all the documentation done so here I am at over Brits and one of the first things we needed to do was this um, one sort of shaft here that's going to be the main uh, aileron sort of pivot there uh, inside the keel needed to drill a hole in that and Brits got all the good fun toys over at his place so this heavy machine there with a his Bridgeport mill um, with a three quarter inch bit on there just went through this um, and you can see how, how thick the wall is on there it's um quarter inch thick um, and you know it's a one inch tube and so there's a three quarter inch bit there and it just went through that in a minute <laughs> so it would have taken me a while to mill that with the tools that we have even using our machine wouldn't be able to do it uh, as well as this one does so um, anyway it didn't take him long to do that and so then we were on to doing the uh, rest of the welding that needed to be done and here Brits welding on the uh, rod um, to the bracket for the nose gear uh, tow bar and yes I'm fully aware that he's not wearing any gloves but he is a trained professional and has been welding forever and ever so um, there's no need to sort of question on what he's doing uh, anyway so we've got a bunch of different things um, done for us uh, yesterday afternoon so that's good so the first part I want to go through is this um, basically pivot point here that, that's the pulley for where the cables start for the aileron control. So this is the one here that sort of lives inside the keel and just to isolate the actual part that we're doing is this one there. So it's that rod that we drilled through there on the mill and uh, had to cut a little groove in it for the C-clip and then weld those uh, two pieces on that I cut on the mill uh, earlier in the day on Friday so that basically makes up that part and uh, there it is there just sort of sitting on my laptop all done and uh, welded up and you'll see in a second how that's going to made up to those uh, aluminum um, pieces that I cut uh, last week for the pulleys and next up was these uh, sliders for the uh, uh, side sticks and this is what um, allows the aileron control to happen so there you can see the slots that were cut in there and then uh, from last week those or last video those flat ones that I cut um, so those that's where they ended up and so they got welded on there um, Britt did that and so here's the various different pieces so there's the nose gear uh, tow thing and there's the one that holds the uh, landing and uh, taxi lights on and you'll see those get bolted up later on so there's one of the side stick ones here I've actually got the stick sort of slid through there there's no bushing on there yet it's just sit, slid through there just to show you and obviously those little tabs are going to get uh, ground off of there um, they don't need to be on there anymore and so here's the other one all done there and we still have to drill the holes in those end things and there's the one I just showed you now and that's just sitting on the aluminum um, round pieces there that uh, make up that uh, pulley so that needs to be cleaned up a little bit more but it's ready to get bolted together and uh, here's the result of half of that layup that Jeff did and he's not like super happy with it because the resin that we we're using again wasn't designed for infusion so it, there's a few little pit holes and stuff in there um, so he's actually ordered some proper resin for doing infusion so we're going to do that that one again but it actually looks pretty nice and stuff but if you look really closely you can kind of see there's some uh, sort of dry spots in there and finishing off Friday afternoon, uh, Zach got pretty close to getting this one done. Um, so it's almost ready for waxing, so that'll be next week. And lastly, I wanted to go over the uh, open house a little bit more. So we've got a, a food truck organized there, and you can actually uh, go to their website and check check that out. Um, so you, you know, you'll be able to purchase lunch and stuff when you come on Saturday. And uh, hopefully it's to everybody's liking, but you know, f finding a food truck that was available is actually kind of tricky I had to call quite a few of them before I found one that wasn't booked up and uh, lastly so I'm putting a survey out there uh, through SurveyMonkey so anyone who's coming to the open house on Saturday the 21st can you please uh, go to the link below and uh, just go and fill this out for us and that will help us out a lot in terms of figuring out how many people are going to be here and also help the food truck guy so he knows kind of how much stuff that um, he may need to bring and uh, yeah so if you can go through that and um, get that all done for us that would be a real help 
and we're looking forward to seeing uh, everybody there on the 21st. So uh, anyway, that's our update for this week, and uh, thanks again for watching.